Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Kotetsu Steel here. Today we have Holy Potatoes! A weapon shop? <laughs> um so this game already, just the idea and the premise behind it reminds me of I don't know if anybody's played it, uh Receipt Tier. It's kind of popular, I suppose. It's on Steam and stuff. Um, but that, that was a Japanese game that was focused on the shop keep part of the RPG, I suppose. And so, this is kind of like it, but not really. I actually haven't played this yet. Uh, usually I do play things beforehand, before I start recording them. But today, I just kind of wanted to hop in and enjoy it with you guys. So, <laughs> where is that silly spud? I said to meet me here in the morning. He's really not like his grandfather in any good way, or any way. Going by that letter he sent back. Dear Mr. Agent, Of course I'll come. What's good to eat in that part of town? That silly empty-headed fool. Of course, it's all the better for me to... Hey, Mr. Agent, is that you? Oh, you're here at last. Sorry, I got lost. All right, I've been waiting all morning. Stand back for my welcome spear. <clears throat> Hello, you must be the grandson of Batata, the legendary potato smith. As the last, or as the late Batata's only grandson, you have inherited your grandfather's legacy, his blacksmith shop. I was your grandfather's trusted partner, and we had an agreement where I own 99.9% .9 of this weapon shop. The 0.01% he owned will now be yours. I hope that one day, you too can become a legendary potato smith like him. But WB, let's work together and learn, earn lots of starch. Oh wow, hey god starch, isn't that what we're made of? Uh, yes, but it's also our currency. You do know what starch is, don't you? <laughs> oh, starch? Yeah, I'm not very good with it. Mom has been giving me pocket money for years. Right. Well, don't worry. I'm great with it. I'll help you with complicated finance stuff and expand our business worldwide. Together, I'm sure we can make a lot of cash starch. Yay, but how? Well, for starters, you're gonna need a powerful... You're gonna need forge powerful weapons to do that for us. Here, let me teach you how. All right, I can't wait. But first... Do you have anything easier than peta peta la la da da fa peta aha del papa that I can call you? I'll just go with Kotetsu Steel. Um, we'll call it. Uh. Uh. Oh crap! I'm horrible with names. Let's see what I have around me. Uh, I have a thing from Google. I have a sprite. We'll be Sprugal. <laughs> Welcome to the weapon shop, Kotetsu Steel. Here's 500 starch to get you started. Courtesy of Agent 46. Isn't he awesome? You're new in town, so obviously no spud knows about you yet. You'll earn fame! And get famous when you start selling weapons to heroes. The top right panel shows the date, the current season, and the present weather conditions. Here, you should meet Laura, your first smith. Smiths work to make weapons for you. Click on Laura Craft. Oh, jeez. To get started. <laughs> Laura's a designer. She's good at adding attack to weapons. Smiths can add attack, speed, accuracy, and magic to stat weapons. Or stats to weapons. They need to be standing in the right place to work, though. The colored spots. On the ground are where your smiths can stand. Laura Craft has a high attack, so she'll be she'll work best in the red attack spot. Click on the red attack spot to move Laura there. Boink. Look, two more smiths have come to join you. Bulk Bogan. Oh no, these puns are hurting my soul. As a craftsman. And Russet Peters is a metal worker! Craftsmen are better at uh, um, speed! And metal workers are uh, accuracy! 
You can click on the smith. Okay. <laughs> okay, I get it. Bottom left corner. So yeah, we can click them down there. Let's get to work on your first objective. Forge a dagger. Click the forge button. Is it any surprise that thieves like daggers? Learn about hero preferences by hovering over portraits. So, well, I can't see if you're in the way here, dingus. Oh, so they... Interesting. Heroes also have stat preferences. Since thieves prefer speed over other stats, make speed the primary stat of a weapon by placing a smith on the green speed spot. Um, I... It... It... Hmm? Oh, there is already someone here. Okay, good. So... Sure. I guess we're doing it. <laughs> Did he just go, like, Super Saiyan or something over here? Um... We'll call it the Dirk. It won't be the Dirk. It'll be the Dirk. <laughs> Name other people. Name after the sound that people make after getting stabbed with a dirk. Ugh. All right, so I can't believe it. My first weapon. Don't go all starry-eyed on me now. Kotetsu Steel, we're not done yet. I think the accent changed. Oh well, I'm done with that. There are tons of heroes around the world who need new weapons. Now that you've made a weapon, you need to sell it to them. I feel so happy. So happy I feel like singing. Let's get down to business to force some way upons. Quiet. Not done yet. Selling weapons to heroes lets them fight more monsters, which in turn lets them earn experience and level up. The more your weapons benefit a hero, the more fame you'll receive. So how do I know if a weapon benefits a hero? I can't follow them out into battle, or can I? Pay attention, there's no adventuring here. You're a blacksmith! Dang it, Kotetsu Steel! You're a blacksmith, not an adventurer? Heroes will let you know if your weapon was beneficial or not by giving a grade. You might have made a really awesome staff, but you give it to a rogue who has no use for it at all, you're not going to get a good score. That sounds like school. <laughs> Alright, so I think we got this. How about continuing your song? Oh no. Look what you started, Agent 46. Oh jeez. Now let's go sell it. Click on the world map button below. This one? Okay. Let's get selling! Wow. Okay. Let's go to the noob village. So... Let's click on this dude, maybe? Wait. On the left panel, since you're the boss, you can ask your smith to do the pedaling for you. How nice! On the right... Um... What's the difference? Maybe I'll just have you... You do it? Because... Speed? I don't know. Wait, so how does that work? Oh, select the weapons. Right. Start selling. I would like to sell to you. I'll do my best! Whoa! Okay. Smith panel? Is there a Smith panel? Oh, over here. Bottom right corner shows the Wets app. Oh my god, it burns! The puns, they burn! <laughs> Uh, yeah, messages. Okay, so we'll get a message from them later. So in the meantime, I guess we'll just, uh, I don't know, craft something new? Let's craft... Oh, we don't have enough material. We need bronze? What the deuce? I mean, I guess we can make another... No, because we don't have speed, really. Can we, like, fast forward or something? Or are we just going to wait 
I guess we can wait. It's not taking too long. Oh, look, your fifth, your fifth spout flusters. I can talk. I'll click the. Oh, over here. There are two off here's with offers for you, Jolie. What? You can't decide who to sell it to? Maybe the expected experience game for each hero might help you make a choice, since you gain fame when a hero levels up. So he gains plus four. Yeah. I like the hero you want this. Yeah, you don't gain anything. Let's go ahead and sell it to you. Boom. Yeah, we'll sell it for 84 bucks. We don't have online banking. Oh no. So I guess when he gets back, he'll probably give us a tutorial on how to buy new uh, materials and stuff. Yeah, so let's see. Boom! That was so much fun. Oh, dang. He gained some levels. We get a temporary status effect. Your smith is currently hyperactive! Oh, hey, we saved fame. Tell your mom, tell your dad, your cat. All right, so, forge another weapon. We don't really have... I mean, we can forge... Yeah, we don't have any other stuff. So I guess we'll just, uh... Now, can I make you... Designers... Hmm. Smiths can now boost weapons. Um, yeah, we'll s Okay. Bulk Bogan. Start boosting. Oh, interesting. I kind of understand what's happening, but not really. I'm quite proud of this one. Oh, and he leveled up. Good. If I move you over here... Can I move you over here? Does that make speed go up even more? Oh, it does a little bit. Hey! Oh, I can't move you over there. Okay, fine. Bulkamania! <laughs> Look at they're like going super sa Not super saiyan, but like... What's that form where like, they just get all the energy around them in Dragon Ball Z? I don't know if it actually has a name, but... They sure know how to use it in here. Like his... Okay, so... This one will be the Dulk. So we'll go ahead and sell again. And... Okay, so we have some interesting... Got another... Th or the same thief. He likes an axe. He likes a bow. Okay, so we'll go ahead and sell that. And then... I'll choose you again, I guess. And, really, how do we... There's our inventory. Oh, we have wood now? Why did we get wood? I... Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, we've had wood. Never mind. How do we... Can we... No, these are all back to workshop. Okay, you found someone? Let's see. I... No. You only get one. You get four and stuff, but... I don't know. I think I would rather give it to you. Oh, you give me a lot. Hey! Hell yeah. Let's see if I can sweeten the deal. I'm a sprugal. Alright. Ooh, rank A. Hells yeah. Have you come back here. Okay, now I can buy materials. So we'll go ahead and look at that real quick. Yeah. So we'll go buy stuff at... We need some bronze, maybe. We'll buy a bunch of bronze. And some rope. And some more iron. Alright, so we need... 
Let's send Bulk out there. Oh, area event. Oh no, what a horrible advertisement for that weapon. Stars times... What? Oh. Yeah, this really does remind me of Receipt tier because there would be like events where certain weapons would sell for more or armor would sell for less and stuff like that. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and continue on in the next episode. Go ahead and like the video if you like this game and this video. And comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. And I will see you guys next time.